let me tell you how I came familiar with car sharing, particularly Turo. I was working, as most of you know, I go to Phoenix, Arizona in the winter. I was at the airport and uh, I saw people would drive up, they would get out of their car in the parking lot and they would start taking pictures of the car. They walk around the car and they were taking pictures of it. The next thing I knew is somebody else would walk up and they would give them the keys and they would get in the car. And the person who drove up with the car, they would go get on the train or something and leave. I saw this three or four times. I saw it one time when somebody drove somebody up and they did the same thing and they got in the car with the person drove away. So one day, a, a young brother came up and he was asking me about my car. And I said, so, I said, so, I said, so what do you do? He said, oh, I do Turo. I said, what is that? He said, I got five cars on Turo. I said, what is that? He explained to me what Turo was. And he said, he said, he started out doing ride share like I'm doing. He said, but I don't do that anymore. I just come up here to drop off cars and pick them up. My network is really important. Uh, I had another young brother come up to me, ask me about my car. It's interesting. And um, he also, but he wanted to ask me about my car and ask me, how much can you make with it and this and that. And so I would give them information. And I asked him, I, don't, I said, don't use other drivers share things with these. No, well, guys, they want to talk to you. They want to give you no information. They want to get, you know. I said, well, you can always come and talk with me. And so I asked him about it. He has three cars, two, two cars, three cars on Turbo. And he said, he also does ride share. So uh, that's when I started doing my research. And I'm not going to continue to do it. Because inshallah, one day, I don't want to have to do ride share anymore. Now, I, let me tell you, I enjoy driving. I enjoy meeting people. But if I can make more money just renting out my, my vehicles, uh, that's what I want to do. It, it, it will free up my time to do some other things. As the young lady said, she started with her own car. With one vehicle, it was paid off. So I'm looking at maybe maybe two years at the most, maybe uh, starting my tour business, inshallah. Uh, now, Allah may bless me to be able to do it any sooner, but that's my plan. And as I go about this, I'm going to continue to come back and share with uh, all of you up here uh, on the first Sunday uh, my progress. You can just go to YouTube and put in car sharing or Turo. If you're going to take some advice from someone, take some advice from someone who's been doing Turo for at least three to five years. Not someone who's just started, but someone who's been doing it at least three to five years because they've, uh, they've, you know, they've got the experience, they've had the ups, the downs, the problems, and stuff like that. And so, as she say, you don't want to just look at how she made two hundred and some thousand dollars in one year. You also want to know what have been some of the downfalls, or what have been some of the challenges she had with her business, and uh, but how she overcame those challenges. So, brothers and sisters, this is what I wanted to share.